All right, welcome back to another episode of Guild Wars 1 playthrough of Prophecy's campaign. We are in Dunes of Despair, and this is the final mission, kind of the final mission of the Crystal Desert. And if I'm being honest, I am having a lot of trouble with this build or with this mission. Um, failed twice. I've been using some illusion spells. And I just, yeah, I cannot find a way to protect this ghostly hero. Um, so we're going to figure out a way to do this with henchmen. Um, we need some energy, Rijin. We need some health. So these three, cultist and the monks, are almost essential. We also need range. We don't necessarily need melee. I think we're going to run something like this. There's just a lot of ranged enemies in this. Yeah. Let's give this a shot. We have a lot of damage. A lot of hexes. I'm pretty much... My build is geared towards countering these stupid elementalist enemies that have just been wrecking my party. We'll see how it goes. I also moved the skill usage of enemies to the center of my screen because I, I was realizing part of my um, reaction timing was slowed down because my eyeballs have to like move up to the top of the screen. Now it's just right in the center, so it's easier for me to catch it, I think. Hopefully, we'll see. Uh, oh no, that's... I thought this was a prevention spell. It's an interrupt spell. Yes, we're running one... How many interrupts are in? One, two, three interrupts. <laughs> Oops. Bad finger that. We don't have a lot to deal with these initial enemies but these guys are not really a problem boom we need a lot of spike damage a lot of interrupt skills you're gonna you'll see one of the hardest missions and the bonus is also one of the hardest missions in the game so we are not planning on doing the bonus this time, unfortunately. There we go. Wastel's worry is really nice. Whoops. Thought they were going to stop there. After they use Seeking Blade, they pretty much, these warriors pretty much use their whole their whole kit so I can spam Wastel's Worry and just have them take 75 damage or 80 damage or whatever it is. I'm going to be relying on Backfire a lot to just take care of these spamming Earth Elementalist enemies. One thing I've noticed last mission, our last video, is the developers Really did a good job on level design in the in the desert, in my opinion. Really cool. Once they use Seeking Blade, I'm just going to pop Wachel's Worry. It almost always rocks. Did you see that? Just keep an eye. Once they use it. They use it there. Yeah, I should have waited, but either way. There, we can use it him. Whoops, we put backfire on by accident. Again, these guys are not the problem. It's the stupid forgotten that are horrible.
Okay. Need to put our teammates all right here. Oh, I missed the interrupt. This monk skill build that I'm using should be able to solo the worms. Just do interrupts and chaos storms and spamming wastrels worry. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. It's interesting. The I think the the worms don't have. They have a high amount of armor, but I think they have like base damage reduction. It's like Mesmer skills do not do, f they do like minus 20 damage. It's kind of annoying. They're just so tanky. Pop backfire. I'm gonna interrupt everything he's got. I'll try to. Wastel Worries cast time is like instantaneous. Love it. I'm just gonna let him cast spells now. Should pretty much kill himself. Maybe not. Keep spamming Ether Feast. It's really annoying. Okay, now the real mission starts. Hope we don't fail. That would have been a good screenshot, actually. Missed it. Okay. So we need to break down the defenses, take out the imposter ghost. Ah, oh, dang it. Is Wastrel where it- Oh, it attacks nearby enemies. I always forget about that. Actually, a lot of the spells that I'm using have really fast casting or recharge time anyway. Mantra recovery is great, but it's not- really making a huge difference in this build like except for backfire and then cry of frustration i mean chaos storm never mind it's pretty useful Whoops, I don't want to cast that. The AoE of Chaos Storm, I'm pretty sure is just as big as Firestorm. Just the, the animation is just looks smaller. Let them group up. Get a good Chaos Storm off. 
Oops. Keep bat fingering backfire. Crazy that Chaos Storm is only 5 energy. Such a strong spell. The other thing we might do if... If we fail this mission again, we might have to get better armor. Might have to drop the gold on it. I don't know if it'll make a huge difference or not. There we go. Alright, almost done. I mean, I say almost done. We're almost starting. Pretty much at the beginning of this mission. Nice armor drop there. Chance for a pretty good amount of gold. I don't think the hero uses any skills, so we can just spam Wachel's Worry on him. So much damage. Okay, now for the tough part. We're going to keep our henchmen on or near the hero. I want to go out a little bit to meet them. Meet the enemies. Should be able to mess them up pretty good. Yeah, that's good damage. going on over there. What's that? I'm eating too much aggro. The other good thing about the mantra of recovery is I can activate it while I'm channeling an ability. Really good. Going pretty well. Need to keep bouncing between these guys. Worm's gonna pop up. We're gonna keep our henchman on the hero. And I should be able to solo the worm, actually. Okay. I'm gonna keep interrupting him. Keep spamming Wachel's worry. Weird, it says after three seconds, but the 75 damage almost triggers immediately. What's that damage? Wow, that's insane. I think I got solo XP for that too. It gave me 100. Why was the damage triggering instantly? It's weird. It must have... Ah, uh, I think I know why. 
I think the morums have hex duration like reduction. That makes sense. I'm gonna aggro these guys. See if I can lure them to my party. And then I'm gonna handle that worm. Yeah, it's gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. I mean, I think I can hit him from here. No. There they come. Okay, this is good. Need to get a good chaos storm on these guys. Only five minutes left. We can do this. All right, I'm gonna go. Sp oh no, they're he's coming back. I think I can kill the worm really quickly. I go up here. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Check this out. We're just gonna spam it over and over. Look at that damage, that's crazy, man. Wachel's worry is sick. Oh, I'm so impressed. That's awesome. All right, just in time. Catch up to my team. But interrupt. Act fire should finish him off. Perfect. Four minutes left. Whoops, wrong skill. Very good, very, very good. Alright, there's another worm up. I need to take that one out. ASAP. Little wastrels worry should work. Go back. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. Look at that damage, man. Do it. 100 XP. Boom. Another worm up. This is like the the worm deleter, man. And it, I think it's doing the full 75 79 damage, I mean. Yeah, so yeah, the mesmer damage. Goes straight through his damage reduction, I guess. And then the mantra recovery, make sure my power drain is up every time. Oh, good. Two minutes left. Wow, this mission ended up being pretty easy. We aren't going to be able to do the bonus, but... I'm just happy to finish... Uh, not fail this mission. <laughs> 
one and a half minutes left. Let's go. I think we can do this one and the Ascension mission, actually. Because the Ascension mission is very short. Wow, this build, I feel like, totally counters this mission. Just having this one skill, Wastrel's Worry. I mean, we can just dance. Look at that. Those worms are supposed to take be a lot more stressful. But we can just solo them. <laughs> These guys just jump in. Hilarious. Blue drums, guitar, violin. <laughs> so silly. All right. I was so worried about this mission for no reason. I failed twice. What a waste of time. I should have just brought this one skill. And that's it. We did it. Mission accomplished. No bonus, but, you know, it's a really tough one. And that is the last mission of the Crystal Desert. Let's just do it. This was, this took 22 minutes. We got plenty of time. Let's just do the last mission. Now, I do know exactly how to beat this mission. And what we're going to do actually going to be very simple going to take um the version wastrel's worry and really we only need one skill and that is empathy but we'll bring the other ones just for fun what do we need to do we need to talk to him Welcome to the ghostly hero to Rai Alsa. Inform me of your rival. How can I help you? How do we get to the Mesa? And here we go. Before you gain interest, you must first pass three tests. The former. Yes, we already did it. We already finished them. So, talk to these three commanders who we helped. Valador, Mendoza, and Josiah. Sins of the day have been burned away. Let us hope... Oh, he's still talking. <laughs> hope you go to the task. May Tarai make a good companion on your journey. Here we go. I think we need to step on these things. Ta -da, ta -da. And that's it. We can become ascended. Two missions in one? This is crazy. A quick screenshot of that. Wait. Am I am I on fire? Yeah. That's cool. Oh, we can beat this guy. This should look very familiar for Guild Wars 2 players. You can actually come here. Pretty sweet the way they did it. Whoa. That armor is awesome.
Did he always have a spear? Uh, he's got diversion on me. Maybe I shouldn't have brought diversion, actually. <laughs> I shouldn't have brought... Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. That's not good. All right. We're just going to use one skill. We're just going to use empathy. Let's try that again. <laughs> that was bad. I don't know if I'm going to edit that out or leave it in. It's kind of funny. All right, let's try that again. Just one skill. So I think the way the doppelganger works is he's got all of your skills and all of your attributes, but all of his attributes are set to like 20 or something crazy like that. So they designed it in a way where you have to um, basically outthink the coding. If we had some skills from factions or prophecy or a uh, nightfall, it would have been very easy because he just, you know, doesn't cast any spells that are not prophecies. I think I can dodge his spears. Yeah. So we'll just sidestep his spears. Like that. There we go. He should kill himself. There we go. Sidestepping is a little trick. You just hold one direction and at the last second you move in the opposite direction. And then... He doesn't hit you. Boom. That was better. Much, much, much better. Reach out and take hold of your destiny. Your ascendance is now complete. Ascendance? Is that a word? Why didn't they say ascension? Ascendance. Never heard that word. All right. Just under 30 minutes, and we did two missions. Finished the uh, Dunes of Despair and Augury Rock. How's that for a bargain? And then now we come here. This is one of my favorite missions of all time. The Dragon's Lair is just so cool. So much lore connected here. Can't wait to do this next time. Uh, thanks for joining again. Hopefully you gained something out of this one. I know I learned something new. Those worms just crumble to Wastrel's worry. Or Wastrel's worry, yeah. Very cool. Anyway, look forward to seeing you in the next mission and our next episode and we'll do dragon's lair so catch you guys later peace